Hi everyone, let's solve question number 30. Suppose 2 sin theta minus 5 cos theta equals to root 13 then the expression 2 cos theta plus 5 sin theta equals. Now let's first write down the equations 2 sin theta minus 5 cos theta equals to root 13 and 2 cos theta plus 5 sin theta equals to let's say k. Now whenever I see equations of this sort a sin theta minus b cos theta and a cos theta plus b sin theta. I tend to remove the theta from the equation. How? By making them a square plus b square. Again, how? By squaring this equation and this equation and adding them. What I'll be getting a square sin square theta plus b square cos square theta. And over here, I'll be getting a square cos square theta and b square, b square sin square theta. If I add both of them, I'll be getting a square plus b square. And two if, over here, we'll be getting minus 2b sin theta cos theta. Over here, we'll be getting plus 2ab sin theta cos theta. That will be cancelled out. So in this manner, whenever I see something of this sort, in this manner, we can eliminate the theta from the equation, right? So we'll do the same process over here. I'll square this equation and this equation and add them. So I'll be getting two, eventually I'll be getting two square plus five square equals to 13 plus K square. So this becomes four plus 25 equals to 13 plus K square. So this becomes 16 equals to K square, K equals to plus minus four. So this kind of observation is important in this question.